Oh, it's freezing out there. Tra-la, tra-la. How are we? Well, I'm not upset, if that's what you think. <clears throat> what do you want? Oh, I came to take um, Peter to see Santa Claus. Well, Bridget's already done that. Oh, well, uh, can't a person see Santa Claus more than once? I suppose you can ask for what you really want over and over and over again. Don't look at our ears. Wow, of course. Look at you. Oh, hey. it's nothing really. Great. <laughs> You look absolutely adorable. Thank you. What's the occasion? Ah, oh, nothing. I'm just going to see hard. Have Lee check the foundation before we lay the tile. We don't need any more water damage. Yeah, I'll get on it. Right, yeah. Who do I see about getting rehired? That'd be me. Yes. You got a lot of freaking nerve. You want work? Go hit on your old man. Who that? I mean, you can't go see hard. Vanessa, it, it, would you tell her it's a good thing for me to see hard? It's a good thing for me to see hard. Well, I don't know if it's a good thing, but what I do know, it's not your place to tell her what to do. Vanessa, I think you're being a little bit paranoid, okay? Hart didn't come back to town to claim Peter. In fact, he didn't even know about Peter until Dinah told him. I know. I, it's, it wasn't Dinah's fault. It was our fault. We did the wrong thing, and, and, and sooner or later, the truth would have come out, so... Yeah, so now the truth is out, and... I mean... This is a lot to lay on a guy all at once. I mean, I can understand why he was frustrated and angry, can't you? No. No. He's changed. He's changed a lot since he left Springfield. How did I you mean, know? Look, I, I don't know whether it's life on the road or, or what happened to him, but he was a decent guy and he's come back and he's, he's manipulative and he's hard and, and he's cold. Okay, so uh, why don't we give him the benefit of the doubt and let's not assume that he's bad. Well, I may be overreacting, but, you know, it, it's possible that, um, you know, that he's involved with somebody who's no good. I mean, he could be married, for instance. Oh, <laughs> no, no way. What do you mean, no? I mean, how would you know? I did. There was that girlfriend in Canada, right? Yeah. Right. And you didn't know much about her. And now maybe they got married and maybe there's a, a lot of kids and, and maybe he's come back to town so that he can get Peter and, and raise him as his own. Vanessa, stop this. You don't know Hart any better than I do. That's my point. That's my point, exactly. I, I mean, you think you know Hart, but you don't, do you? Oh, okay, but you don't either, so why, why try to make him out to be a villain? Because it's a gut feeling I have. I have a gut feeling about this guy. He, he's, he's manipulative, he toys with people exactly the way his father does. Big brother, huh? What a surprise. You know, I was worried that uh, some stranger would give me the run. I was talking to you. Now, you got no business here or anywhere in Springfield. Now, why don't you go work for your Relax, old man? Relax, David. Huh? Let's hear the man out. I told you I want my old job back. 40 hours a week, overtime if you got it. I thought you were leaving town. Well, you thought or you hoped. Let me answer that. Now, what David, more cool do you... Look, I can't go anywhere until I have money for a ticket, all right? Meanwhile, my main concern is to keep a roof over my head and food on the table now, okay? We're not running a charity here. I'm not looking for a handout. A good lawyer, maybe? Come again? First-rate attorneys don't come cheap. Now, what would I need an attorney for? To fight Bridget for custody of Peter. Do I look like the fatherly type to you? Not even close. David, why don't you go talk to Lee about that foundation? Later. Now. Hire him, I'm out of here. So why'd you decide to stick around? I need some money, okay? I want my old job back. What's so hard to understand about that? What about Peter? Cute kid, but I have no personal interest in him. How about Bridget? Look, Matt, Bridget's a nice girl, okay? But we were never in love. It was just one night together. No talk about long-term commitments. And even Bridget knows that. Now, why would I want to give your sister a hard time? That's what I'm asking. I'll tell you what. Why don't you hire me? That way, Big Brother can keep a nice, close eye on me. Hmm? What do you say? Why? 
Oh, no? Well, Hart hurt you, didn't he? That was my fault. Look, I'm the one who caused the fight between Hart and Julie. I'm the one that got Hart drunk. Wait I'm the one that seduced him. Wait a minute. He turned his back on you when you needed him, when you really needed him. He didn't know that I needed him. I couldn't tell him that I was pregnant. You know oh, this. Of course not. He wouldn't listen to you. He wouldn't give you the time of day. Well, yeah, but look, we were kids then. I mean, maybe he's changed. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. I, oh, I just Vanessa, don't want him to just, hurt you anymore. You know, enough. This is Bridget's life. Oh, would you she shut up is allowed to make something work with heart if she wants to. Lay off. Get out of my face. Okay, you answer me this. Why, since you walked in this door, have you been so involved in her life? You lived through her. Excuse and me? where the I, I beg heck your party? are your own children? Where are they? When was the last time you talked to them? Are you going to see them for I really Christmas? don't think that's huh? any of huh? your business, Answer Vanessa. Answer my question, I'd like you to leave right now. This happens no, to me. No, really, just say it, man. I really don't want to hear it. Your husband has lost his mind. Really. I did it. I don't want to hear it, really. Oh, great. What's going on? I gave Hart his old job back. You what? You hired Hart? Good for you. How can you say that? Bridget is entitled to her opinion. How could you do that? He's going to hurt everybody. Not if I can keep an eye on him. What did Hart do to get on everybody's bad list? Well, first of all, he's Roger's son. And he's Peter's father. He's a liar. He lied to Dinah about who he was. You know what? None of you people are even giving him a chance. Yeah, well, he didn't give you a chance. Okay, let's not go there, all right? Where is Hart now? When I left, he was filling out some paperwork at the construction site. Great, I'll be back. Uh, would you keep an eye on Peter for me and all that? I love I will. Bridget. No, I believe she asked me. Oh, wait a minute. Uh don't set yourself up. Come on. I know what I'm doing. Richard, he, he he's all wrong for you. Hey, honey, you know, hiring hard is it, just going to keep him right here in Springfield. Vanessa, if he's going to stay, he's going to stay. I figured it was better for us to give him a job than have him run off to Roger. Yes, Matt is right, Vanessa. The only reason Hart is here in Springfield is because of you. Because you were the one that told Bridget not to let Roger see Peter, so Roger is just trying to get back Come on, you. Nola. Vanessa was just looking out for Dinah. And Bridget is trying to look out for Peter. How? By going to see Hart? Hart happens to be Vanessa, and I'll get a graph for you. Peter's natural father, Bridget, oh, is yeah. Peter's okay, look, natural mother. This. this is I exactly what Thorpe wants. Hello? That. Hello? Thorpe is not the problem. You are. Well, is that right, David? Well, how do you figure that? You think you've trapped Hart by hiring him? He's the one setting the trap. And Bridget's walking straight into it. Merry Christmas! I didn't hear a knock. My hands are full, Matt. What is this? I won big on the Price is Right. Their Christmas gifts for my grandson. What else? Where's Peter? He's asleep. Don't you think that this is a little uh, excessive? Well, a uh, business deal of mine paid off handsomely, ensuring the success of WSPR. I figure what better way to share my good fortune than by buying gifts for my loved ones? Sort of narrows the field, doesn't it? You're quite extravagant. Oh, he's a lot of things. Again at the mercy of your rapier wit. Do you think you could stuff a stocking in it until after the holidays? I'm trying my best to be civil. Anyone here care to join me? What do you want? What do I want? I'm hoping that you and Bridget would allow Peter to spend part of Christmas with his father's side of the family. <laughs> Can't imagine Dinah babysitting. I'm not talking about Dinah. Hart and I want to spend time with Peter. Together? Yes, together. My son and I have settled our differences. We're closer now than ever. I figure what better way to celebrate our being a family again than by sharing our good fortune with the youngest member of our brood. I don't believe that you and Hart have settled your differences. I oh, don't no, believe that. Oh, no, no, Remember, Vanessa, Christmas is a time for miracles. Three generations of Thorpes together at last. And this is just the beginning. You're bluffing. You and Hart haven't reconciled because Hart has no more interest in you than anybody else in Springfield does. Well, you are forgetting your daughter, not for the first time. Watch it, Thorpe. Dinah had enough interest in me to marry me. 
Now, just because you can't mend fences with your daughter doesn't mean I couldn't reconcile with my son. Unlike you dysfunctional misfits, our family is beginning to mend. Oh, I like that one, Roger. That was a good one. Well, thanks. There's more where that came from. You know, since the new Mrs. Reardon can't be relied upon to ask Bridget about her Christmas arrangements, perhaps you would be so kind as to do the honors. Oh, kindness is my middle name. Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Oh, have you lost what small amount of brain you have? I, I think I have, because I'm still talking to you. Will you lighten up? I only agreed to give Bridget a message. It is up to her whether she wants Peter to deck the halls with him or not. Oh. <laughs> he is trying to use heart to get the baby upstairs. Do you remember that? Yes, yes, that is very obvious, David. And I will make that point to Bridget when I give her the message. I still don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Okay, wait a minute. Did, like you said, Roger could be lying about reconciling with Hart. I mean, he wants Peter there for Christmas, maybe as a ploy to, to get Hart to show up. Wouldn't be the first time he lied to us to get something he wanted. You're right about that. What's going on? You see him? Huh? Did you talk about Peter? What's with the third degree? Oh, we're just what curious, that's all. Oh, enough, enough. I'm sure if anything big happened, she would let us know, wouldn't you, dear? Sure. You, why don't you go take Peter and do whatever you were going to do with him now? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay. Brace yourself and bring a mistletoe. <laughs> so why don't you deadbeats get back to work? I'll talk to you later, Bridget. Yeah, okay, bye. Jeez, sir. Right. I take it you decided not to quit. Yeah, I've decided to stay on. Keep an eye on things. Look, David, I don't like the guy around any more than you do. This way we can hopefully see what he's up to. Yeah, yeah that's right. Okay. 